Hey YouTube, this video is going to be a room tour and I'm just going to get right into this video. So first up, um, we have my desk in my room and I have my PS4 along with two controllers with the play Sony PlayStation uh, 3D display. Uh, we got the PlayStation Eye up there. Then I got uh, some of my games I actually just set aside here for the PS4. Uh, my friend is borrowing Killzone right now, because I haven't got to play it yet. So I got Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, Need for Speed Arrivals. And I got my Vita games in here. I had a whole bunch, but I didn't play my Vita that much at one point, so I decided to trade them all in. So, um, we got that open, got a 4GB memory card, 16GB, I have a 32GB in it right now, then... Just a few games in there. Then the Vita itself, the white one, uh, the Assassin's Creed bundle one. Then I got my 3DS, which you guys may have seen in my recent video. I traded my blue 3DS XL and bought the Legend of Zelda uh, 3DS XL. So that's pretty cool. Um, then uh, I have this Max Payne poster. It's one of the plasticky posters that I got framed. And I can replace it, like I have a Tomb Raider one, uh, like a Madden 25 one with Barry Sanders and NCAA 14. And then I got a Kurt Cobain and Metallica poster, then a Led Zeppelin one over there, um, GTA 5 poster. My dad drew that picture of an Aston Martin, I used to love Aston Martins, still do. Uh, then I have my nightstand down there. Uh, it has uh, the PlayStation headphones, a charging dock, which I recently found in a GameStop dumpster, uh, my mic for Xbox, and then a Xbox 360 and PS3 controller. Then this is just where my most recent games that I got are, or ones I frequently play, which I just put this a few days ago, um, so I haven't used it that much. I'll actually, I'll show after this, like, all... Uh, all my games because those are in the basement uh... so yeah have that I'm gonna fill that up pretty soon then i have my tv over here it's a thirty two inch emerson which it, it's pretty good for the value i got it about three or four years ago when they were pretty expensive but i got it for a good price and it's been a really good tv so no need to upgrade that i got the black ops two uh... care package edition the dragonfire Behind that is the Call of Duty Ghost camera. Then I got the Black Ops 1 RC car down there. Then I got my PS3 with the uh, light up Claymore. If I can find it. And then I got my Turtle Beach headset. Uh, the Modern Warfare 3 edition. Uh, the HD PVR that I won in, in a giveaway which was really cool. Then I got my Xbox 360 uh, 250 gig. It has the MLG vault on it which I'll see I'll pause the video real quick and get the lights on so there I got the lights going they go from blue red to white there's different modes you can have it on so that's pretty cool I got that for at Best Buy on clearance for 25 bucks like last year so then I got my uh, Mono Warfare 2 Prestige Edition got that from a trade from Classic Game Freak as long as the Black Ops RC car I got the Saints Row Game of the Generation edition with the GTA 5 Steelbook in there. Then to the left, have a TKS drawing cabinet, which you guys have seen before. I won't go into as much detail, but I'll show some of the things. And then I got uh, this poster that uh, GameStop employee gave me the other day when I came in. Didn't find it in the garbage. Infamous Second Son. And then this I did find in the GameStop dumpster, uh, Need for Speed Rivals. I don't think I showed the two Assassin's Creed flags from the uh, Collector's Edition. And here, this is, I used to have like a rock themed room before I put uh, like all the video game stuff up. So I have albums going across there that you can't see really anymore. So this is the only part that I really updated on the cabinet from the last video, if you guys saw it. Saw it. Um, I made this backing so I can have more things on display. So those are just some of the things I got. 
Bioshock uh, Songbird was pretty cool. And the uh, same with the Assassin's Creed one. I think it really looks cool. And I'm not going to turn on all the lights, but there's lights in it. So in the dark, you know, it, everything lights up pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to list everything. I'll just kind of show, show you guys everything going through down there. Assass uh, yeah, the Assassin's Creed one is new that I got. And actually, I forgot about the Skyrim one. I, I've had that one, but I forgot to put that back in the shelf when I made my last video. And then this, I'll flip on the light down here so you guys can get a better view. That's the Dead Island Riptide ca uh, case back there. So, yeah, this one I decided to make, like, random stuff that, like, see the dubstep gun? It's cool, but I don't know if I need a big display for it to say. And that, that Defiance one is new. I got it for... I got it, like, sealed from Amazon for $15, uh, like, last week or so, so that was a pretty good deal, because you got the game, you saw it on the shelf over there, that's why it's over there, it's still sealed. I got this from Amazon, too, for $30, came in the mail today, probably won't do an unboxing on it, because it came out in March, and, you know, nothing special about it. So then, uh, I just had this Monster Energy sign, I've had that there for a while, up on top, I just got a few cool boxes that I thought would be pretty cool on display, like the ghost box. I thought was sweet. Same with the Grand Theft Auto Five box, and then of course the care package was really really cool. I had to have that up there. Just some hats that I have um, uh, that I usually don't wear that often. Like I never ever wear snapbacks. Uh, they just been hanging up there since like seventh grade, and my work polo is still up there. Then I have uh, I have the Order 1886 poster. Um, that's actually a double-sided one. The infamous poster uh, is on the back of that, so that's why the GameStop uh, employee gave me two. So yeah, that is about it for the room tour. Um, I'll give you a quick view of the room. I actually just paused it because my closet door is open, which it's not too pretty in there. But yeah, so, I mean, my room's not that big, but I definitely have to say, I think I made the most out of it, uh, for what I can do. So, I'll show you guys the games downstairs real quick, because, um, obviously that's, um, something that people want to see, too, if you're watching the video. And I'll also give an update on when I'm going to make the giveaway video, because I've been mentioning that, but I haven't made it yet. It's still happening, so, uh, don't be worried, uh, I'll get into details of that right after I show the games. So this is my game collection that I have. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys all the stuff that I have. I'll just go through it real quick. Some of these games I gotta put upstairs because uh, I do play a lot. Just haven't played them in a little bit. So then I got some steel steel books over here. I love steel books. They're in a collector's edition. Odds are I'm gonna get it. If it's a game I somewhat care about. So. Oh, I just completely went through the same row again. So. Go down there. Which. The reason why I have so many PS3 games is. A lot of these I haven't even played yet to be honest. Um, it's because when I got my PS3. I sold all my PS2 stuff and I really really regretted it. So. I try to make it up for PS3, um, so, yeah, as you can tell, I have quite a few PS3 games, um, but, yeah, then I just have Game Boy stuff up here, with, in between consoles, like DS's, uh, yeah, so, just trying to get a big box of Game Boy stuff, why? I don't know, just, cause, I guess, but now, on to the giveaway, um, it's going to be going on next week. I'm going to try and upload this video tonight. Tonight's uh, Tuesday uh, 25th or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so it'll be uploaded around next week because I'm going to be really busy uh, like the next few days. So I'm not going to be able to upload another video. That's why I wanted to make this video now so I can get that so I can get up and you know let you guys know when the gi giveaway is going to be. And, uh, but actually, in the comments below, thinking about it, would you guys want multiple winners? Uh, for instance, if I do, like, a $20 PSN or Xbox giveaway, and 
because what's going to happen is I want to have it in stages. So basically, if I get a certain amount of likes, it'll advance to the next stage. So there will be either two prizes or like uh, one good prize, like really good prize, like a $50 PSN or Xbox, something like that. And so on. So I, I want to have to write it down what exactly the order is going to be. But it, it's going to be good if, uh, it, no matter what, there will be a giveaway winner if I don't hit a certain amount of likes. But just like I said, it'll go in stages for more and more winners. Or if you guys want one big prize. So I guess it could go up to, I guess, however much. Uh, probably won't be more than. $150 giveaway, but, like, that would have to get quite a few likes, like, uh, for stages and stuff, but, yeah, so, it's gonna be pretty cool, I haven't done a giveaway in quite a while, June was the last time I think I did a giveaway, I might do another one at 10,000 subscribers, if and when I hit 10,000, so, yeah, definitely some cool stuff coming out. And, uh, haven't actually checked the GameStop Dumpster in a few weeks here, as you might be able to tell. So, uh, I'll try to make those videos soon. It just, there's so much cool video game stuff coming out, and a lot of other things I have to do. Uh, so I haven't had a lot of time to go GameStop Dumpster Diving. But, those, those videos will always, uh, be on this channel. Just have to, wait until I actually start finding stuff. But yeah, that's it for the video, you guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.